Oh, welcome back. We are back with more Chestnut. That was a clip from The Best Man, the final chapter limited series starting December 22nd on Peacock. Yes. So first of all, that's a beautiful scene. And oh, we're on this you. emotional roller coaster. I was struck yes. watching you watch yourself because I read an interview where you talked about really studying your craft. Mm -hmm. And you've learned these lessons over the years of listening, which you said you learned from John Singleton. And then yes. later, honing in on the craft of yes. acting and wanting to have done that earlier. When you start a movie and you're gonna work for like three months, you're gonna be unemployed in three months. Yeah. So I've always been focused on what's the next job. I'll start a job, okay, what's the next yeah. job? And I wish I would, could tell my younger self, just focus and just from the very beginning, just really hone in on your craft and all the rest will come. Right. And, uh, and look so, at you honing in on that craft of that scene. You were looking yeah, at... I was, Cause I really, I really, I really watch myself. Like I rarely watch a full movie. Like after I see it in a screening yeah. or a premiere, Why I don't go that? back. I don't go. It's just, it's just hard. It's just hard sometimes. Cause to, I don't watch, watch myself. myself. You don't watch yourself either. No, why, I, okay, why don't you watch? Cause yourself? all I see are teeth and eyes. I feel like I'm like a big bug, and I, all I see is like, eh, and I, I, and so I can't physically watch myself. <laughs> well, you see, don't I, have that problem. You don't no, look like teeth and eyes. No, I do. No, no, I do have teeth and eyes. <laughs> 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 no, I think with me is I'm always, every time, you know, I never felt like I just, there's very few scenes that I've done to where I felt that I couldn't have done better. Wow. And I just get mad at myself. Oh, that, oh I missed that. See, and, oh, I'm, that way, that. Oh, so that way too. I, I will criticize my, like, okay, I should have said this. Da, da, da. So to keep authentic, I don't watch the show because I don't want to perform for them. I just want to be present with them. I think you're and very so I don't, present. Thank you. Yeah, thank present. you. Yeah, so, like, going back to the film, though, yeah. you, uh, the cast on the red carpet, was it last week for the yeah. premiere in L.A.? The chemistry. Look at, first of all, the most beautiful cast ever. <laughs> Everybody is in the house. Did you know that this was lightning in the bottle? I love that Malcolm D. Lee, uh, the director, said he wanted them to be relatable. Yes. Authentic. So this wasn't just for black people, even though it was a cultural milestone. Like we all watch Sex in the City, they wanted the world to watch this group as authentic color, people of color, but see themselves in their journey. Without a doubt, without a doubt. And that's what I love about the world that he created because all of our storylines, even from the very beginning, are extremely universal. Yeah. And I think that's why people are so, the cast is so relatable. And plus, I mean, we have some, uh, I mean, there's some, some, you were just really, really great people to work Absolutely. with. Absolutely. One of the greatest who you've had a chance to work with twice, Nia Long. Yes, Nia um, Long. She's from, of course, Boys in the Hood, now right. this series. I love her character, Jordan. I know that she described you as her therapist on set in an interview recently. Oh, yeah. And everybody's been talking about her personal life ending a long oh. relationship. And she's talked about it on the red carpet. People I know who know you say you are such a protector, that you're such a carer, like you take care of the group. Yes. For her to still make these red carpets and answer these questions and you watch her navigate this, mm -hmm. how does that how do you process it? Because it's real I, life. I'm, I'm extremely proud of Nia because yeah. Nia, she's one of the most resilient, strong yeah. people I know. And um, she's handling it very well. I mean, it's very tough and difficult to have your, your, your personal life be exposed the way it has. So I'm really proud of her and she's doing a great job. And so job. for people who don't know, her long-term partner is suspended as a coach of Boston Celtics after uh, an alleged affair. The team took action, but as she said, Few people were asking her how she was doing. That's and they were looking at the headlines and not asking her about her personal mental well-being. So right. when she referred to you as her therapist on set, I thought that was so sweet. Right. Well, we worked before, before all of this, all of this yeah, happened. Before, before, before all of this happened. Yeah, so we were just talking just in general. But like I say, she's she's strong, resilient, smart, beautiful. I can't have enough adjectives to yeah. describe her. So she's going to be really strong. Yes, yeah, she's all of wonderful. Yeah. Um, Going back, though, to your journey, you got a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Yes, yes, yes. This yes. year. Yes. I mean, yes. so your mom has been like this. Look at you there. <laughs> I mean, fresh white sneakers for the occasion. <laughs> for the occasion, I am fresh. Yes. Your mother has been this North Star for you in so many yes, ways. She has. She has, and that was a that was a special day because so, like I said, I'm always thinking about the next job. And yeah. she, one day she said, you, "You need to have a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame." I was like, "I'm not even thinking about that. I'm just trying to keep keep things moving." And so she called my publicist, got my wife together, and she really said, "Hey, we're gonna get this. We got to get him a star." And so this day, so yeah, thank you, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. So so, for I wanted to just as a tribute to her. 
I, I made it that they gave me the star on her birthday. <gasps> so this was her, this was her birthday. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, you want me to cry some more here? I've got my tissue. <laughs> Before yeah, we sure. go, I do want to call out the fact that you also mentor, and that's been a yes. part of your legacy. You have other goals, producing and directing, Without but it's been important um, with this iconic career that you've been able to build Thank you. is to pass it down to others. It is because it's the industry is really tough. Yeah. I mean, people really don't understand it. And like you said, I had that gap of it, between major films, between Boys and Hood and this, but since a lot of movies are rerun on TV, people think you're working all of the time. Mm -hmm. And I, me being born and raised in Los Angeles, I understand and I see all the pitfalls that people make when they come from smaller towns or when they come, because Hollywood, will, will, it will eat you up and spit you out in a heartbeat. And so, yeah, so when I'm always around to help mentor young, young, young talent, yeah, for sure. Oh my God, handsome and heart, you got it all. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations, Thank your you. mom is amazing, that beautiful family, happy Thank holidays. You. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much. Happy holidays and congratulations to everything you do. Thank you, Morris. Thank, you. Thank you. Morris Chestnut, please be sure to watch The Best Man, the series streaming on Peacock starting December 22nd.